Hey everyone, Coach Joe Petra here, and I wanted to come to you with a quick video. I know I'm not in my flashy white screen today. Uh, I didn't have time to set it all up and get it ready because this just kind of hit me. And I wanted to make a quick video about this because I think it's crazy that this is actually happening. So I'm in a group on Facebook. Some of my coaches put me in their groups on Facebook to you know, help keep me connected and whatnot. And one of my coaches, Melissa, posted an article about, I'll just read you what the tagline says, what the, the copy says. It says, quote, scientists believe eating a thin person's poop is the key to losing weight. And at first I thought this was a joke. I made some snarky kind of comments about it. And then I'm like, wait a second. Is this a real article? It's not April Fool's. So why? What is this? What is this about? So I Googled it. I Googled <laughs> I, I, I Googled freeze-dried poop pills to see what's com what came up. And what came up on Google, I'll just show you my searches, the top search engines that came up. You know, first one was people.com. That's a pretty credible magazine, if you will. Uh, and then the next one was Forbes. That's a very credible magazine. That was one day ago. And so I kind of wanted to talk to you about what they're doing in this study. The doctor's name, who is conducting this study, I'm going to butcher it, but it has some scientific merit as to why they're doing it. It's not just some, hey, eat my poo and lose weight. Her name is Elaine W. U. Uh, I think that's how you say her last name. So there's these, again, I am not a scientist. I don't have a scientific background. I don't know anything about the organisms they're talking about. So apparently inside your digestive tract, digestive tract, there is this, there is this bacteria called microbiome, all right? And apparently, this is produced in a healthy individual, a healthy, lean individual. But someone who is obese, this microorganism apparently stops getting produced and can be the cause. That's what they're kind of claiming of their obesity. Not their cause of their obesity, I'm sorry. But the reason why they're having such a hard time losing weight. But then I read more into the Forbes article because with the Forbes article, you got I got more details than I did with People or for this new beauty um, website that my friend posted. So it really just talks about, I'll just read again. Studies also found that things that make the gut microbiome less diverse. So the reason why they're doing this is because they found that in lean, fit, healthy individuals, that this microbiome is still prevalent in your feces. So they've been freeze drying their feces and, been, you know, they're going to start testing human subjects. So like placebo trials, you're either going to get someone else's poo to swallow or you're going to get a fake poo to swallow. Um, and, and the study behind this is, the, and the th reasoning behind this is the fact that People who have high fat, low fiber, and high refined carb diets stop producing this bacteria in the gut. And I'm just like, this is, this is dumbfounding to me. I've struggled with my weight. I've gone up and down. The heaviest I've ever been was 225 a year ago. I got back up to 220. I know what it's like to struggle. I'm not claiming uh, perfection by any means, and I'm not judging anybody when it comes to this, but if you are faced with this choice, I mean, you as an obese, overweight person, yes, it's hard and it's struggle and you just, you really just feel honestly like the weight of the world on you. But when you're faced with a couple options like surgery, you know, these, these quick fix options and we as a society just feel like we have this, that, that's the only way to lose weight. That's the only way to get in shape. That's the only, it's my last, that's my, I have no other options but to, eat someone else's poop to lose weight. That's, that's, you're not eating it, obviously, but you're swallowing it. I, I'm just really at a loss for this study. I'm gonna put links to all the articles that I found. Do your own research on this. Um, and if you are someone who is struggling to lose weight, if you are struggling to find a good nutrition plan, 
learning how to eat real food, make real food, and have healthy, nutritious food taste good so you don't have to worry about taking a pill full of someone else's poop to lose weight down the road because I would I'd be amazed if this doesn't get approved by the FDA in the next five years. If studies go well, sure, let's take people's poop, freeze, dry them, put them in there, make a crap ton of money. Excuse the pun. So there's this product. I'm just going to talk about this real quick because I'm a team beach body coach and I feel like I would be doing you a disservice if I did not end my video with this. There is a product called Shakeology. You may have heard about it. It is clinically proven, clinically proven to help people lose weight, lower their cholesterol, and lower their blood sugar levels. The thing that people have against Shakeology is the fact that it's too expensive. It's not. It's for a 30-day supply. It's $4 a shake. You use it as a meal replacement to help you lose weight. So you're replacing that Dunkin' Donuts, that Starbucks, that McDonald's breakfast that you're getting on the way to work. Uh, when you're when your friends go out to lunch, if you're eating a good breakfast and you don't and you, lunch is your problem one, you replace lunch. So you just have this good nutritious diet. It's high in fiber. Uh, it's got your proteins. It's got your carbohydrates. There's no artificial sweeteners, no chemicals, no crap. Again, no crap. You're not going to be drinking crap, like not literal crap this time, but no artificial stuff to help you achieve your health and fitness goals. And it dumbfounds me as to why people would rather, why we as a society are being like, you know what? Poop. Poop is the answer. <laughs> it reminds me of that song from Scrubs. Everything comes down to poo. Well, check out Shakeology. I'll put a link to my Shakeology website. It's got a 30-day money-back guarantee. Get the chocolate one. I drink chocolate vegan every single morning. My wife drinks it. Uh, my little boy, he's one and a half. He gets about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons every day uh, because of just the benefits of drinking this shake on you. Again, and here's the last disclaimer I'm going to talk to you about Shakeology. It is not the magic pill. It is not these magic poo pills. It is not the magic Stairmaster. You need to also learn how to eat right, and that's what I'm here to do as your team Beachbody coach is to help serve you and help you make this nutrition journey of yours easy, fun, and enjoyable. I mean, together we can do it. I've been there. I've been on this struggle for eight years, up and down. I get why. I get how easy it is. I get how easy it is to just give up and be like, you know, I'm ordering pizza tonight, or nothing's going my way. Go find food. There is a way, <clears throat> and it's a better way. And it's a harder way. It's not easy. Because if it was easy, we'd all be doing it. But it, it, it's possible and it's achievable. And I had to make this video today because I was just uh, at a loss that the medical community is, is investigating and contemplating these poo pills to help obese people lose weight. It can be done. It really can be done if that's what you really, really want to have happen. But you have to do the work. You have to drink your shake. You have to learn to eat right. You have to just start. Don't 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 buy into this non this bullshit that you're gonna have to take a poo pill to lose weight. No. But let me ask you guys this question. I want to know. I want to know this. What's the craziest thing you've ever done to lose weight? Leave them below in the comments, and as always, please share this video with other people. Uh, let me know what you thought of the poo pill in the comments, and as always, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye, everyone. So anyways, if you were desperate enough, would you eat someone else's poop? I don't... That's an awful question to end your YouTube channel question with. Reminds me of that song from Scrubs. Everything comes down to poo. I'll put a link to that YouTube video too. That's funny. Um